Welcome to Open House with Jerry Corneo, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. And definitely, sa headlines po ngayon, it's been in the headlines for the past uh, couple of weeks. And uh, this is a very hot topic. It's called EDCA. Hindi po EDSA, EDCA. The Enhanced... Uh, Enhanced uh, Defense Defense Cooperation Agreement. Ayan, ha? Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. This is where, uh, well, at least to my knowledge, pero ang guest po natin, uh, he's an expert on this and he'll give the details. Pero as far as uh, I understand it from the newspapers, ito po ay ang uh, nagsanib ang puwersa ng uh, Pilipinas, ang... Uh, armed forces, as well as uh, the armed forces of the United States, where they were given access to uh, our uh, military bases, as well as bibigyan nga sila ng mga areas kung saan din sila pwede magtayo ng sarili nila mga bases. And ang pagkaalam ko, walang rental ito, libre ito, baka tayo pa yata magbayad sa kanila. Now, uh, there have been many issues here. Well, obviously, Although uh, you have to read between the lines, this EDCA was, uh, came about because of uh, our problems with our neighboring uh, brother Chinese, Jampo sa West Philippine Sea. No? Nagkaroon po ng problema yan sa Ayungin Shoal, sa Spratlys, uh, and other areas. Di ba? And uh, so, feeling ng marami, binubuli tayo ng... Uh, you know, the Chinese by uh, using their superior military might. So, ang perception ngayon ay, ang Pilipinas naman, teka muna, hindi ba? Meron tayong kabarkadang malakas din sa military, probably the uh, uh, biggest and the best in the world, which is uh, the armed forces of the United States. So, nagkaroon ng agreement. Now, they say this is because of uh, to avoid conflicts. Ngayon, Pwedeng magnet to conflicts, pwedeng deterrent, which we'll talk about later on. But, ang guest po natin ngayon, uh, former Bayan Muna representative Teddy Casino, recently nag-file po ng uh, petition, tawag ba ron? Hmm. Petition sa Supreme Court to question the constitu constitutionality of the EDCA, the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, between the Philippines and the United States. Unahin po na natin yun, muna yung constitutionality. Later on, we will involve several people here. We also have a guest, Mr. Paolo Aguado, will be talking about, is it a magnet or deterrent? And I also have several, uh, I talked to several people personally, tsaka mga iba po ay nag-text, to give their opinions. Deterrent or magnet? Uh, in other words, Will it be a deterrent towards a military conflict sa West Philippine Sea or magiging magnet? Ah, ganon. Sige, away-away na. Okay, Mr. Teddy Casino, welcome po ulit. Thank Suki you, po natin ito. Oh, I mean, oh, uh, Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Okay, uh, Teddy, ano itong final nyo sa Supreme Court uh, questioning the constitutionality of EDCA? Mm -hmm. What is the essence of this all? Well, uh, before we go to the petition, oh. kita muna natin ano ba yung esensya ng EDCA. Okay. It's basically an agreement. Uh, para ibalik ang military bases ng Amerikano sa Pilipinas in a very low cost, flexible, and a quite expansive uh, manner. No? Kasi very, iba na ang uh, klase ng gera ngayon. Iba na rin klase ng mga military facilities ang kailangan. So basically, it's a return of the U.S. bases. And uh, maraming constitutional issues, but I think one of the strongest constitutional issues is that hindi kasi pwede mangyari yan na ibabalik mo ang base militar ng dayuhang bansa nang hindi dadaan sa isang tratado. Treaty? Treaty. Okay. So, now, the EDCA is not a treaty. Okay. Ang sabi nila, it is a mere executive agreement. Okay. And ang treaty daw talaga is the Mutual Defense Treaty, mm -hmm. which does not mention in any way or in any manner military facilities. A so, mutual defense? How can you have defense, defense without it's, military? It's basically just... Oh. A pag-state lang ito ng commitment uh -huh. na kapag ikaw ay ginera, eh, pwede akong sumaklolo sa iyo. Uh, kung so, gusto ko. Kung gusto mo. Siyempre, <laughs> of course. Historically, uh -huh. in, never naman sumaklolo sa atin ng Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. in Historically? Our, in, in, our, uh -huh. in our conflicts with Malaysia, uh -huh. in our conflicts with uh, well, China, uh -huh. US has never really interfered. 
Eh buti pa sila nakikinabang sa atin eh. Pag may gera sila sa Korea, nandun oh. tayo. Pag may gera sila sa Vietnam, nandun tayo. Eh, ta- Even Iraq and oh. Afghanistan, nandun tayo eh. Tayong sumaklolo sa kanila during the Second World War. Ay, ay, ayun na nga. Tayo ang Although panangga the, nila. Although the MDT oh. was after the Second World War. Okay. So a- anyway, yun yung I think that is a very strong issue of constitutionality na hindi mm. ito dumaan sa tratado. No? At kailangan, uh, for such an agreement na ibabalik mo ang US military troops and facilities, uh, it has to be a treaty. Pangalawa, uh, hindi na nga tratado, masyado pang dehado ang Pilipinas. Alam mo, nabanggit mo kanina, walang renta. Mm. Hindi lang yan. Walang taxes when it comes to their public utilities. Uh, the Philippines is actually obligated kapag ni-request ng Estados Unidos ang access nila sa isang lugar, whether public or private, mm. ang nakalagay dun sa provisions ng EDCA, the Philippines shall provide this access. Okay. Now, uh, libre ang radio spectrum. No? Which uh, means? Pwede silang mag-operate ng kanilang telecommunication facilities ng okay. libre. Okay. Alam natin, napakamahal at pinag-aagawan okay. ng mga telcos itong spectrum mm. na ito. But pinamimigay ito ng libre. So all these, no, even the security, mm. no, at uh, yung yung maintenance ng ng mga areas around these bases, these agreed locations tao nila, sagot ng Pilipinas yan. Oh, di, excuse so, me, yeah. Let, let's get back to this. So which means hindi nila base ito. Nakiki parang bisita natin sila sa mga base militar natin. But uh, operational control is operation within. of their own forces. Of 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 the agreed location. Pati yung oh, under ang, nila, ang, under ang, nila pati ang, mga ang binibigay uh, lang sa Philippine Authority is access. Mm-hmm. But that access has to pass through their security and uh, yung mga protocols nila. Samantalang, oh. yung mga military troops and contractors, kasama dito yung contractors, ha? Mm-hmm. hindi lang yung uh, formally part ng uh, armed forces of the United States, but their military contractors, sinasubcontract na kasi yung gera ngayon. Anyway, kasama yon, they have what they call unimpeded access. No, they have operational control from construction hanggang sa deployment ng forces, etc. So, mm-hmm. it's basically a U.S. base. Mm-hmm. Pero dahil gusto nilang paikutin yung constitutional requirement, pinalalabas nila, it's a Philippine base. Pero okay. alam naman natin sa Clark and Subic, mm-hmm. eh, Philippine flag nga ang nakalipad dyan for a long yeah. time. Uh-huh. But it's uh-huh. basically a, a U.S. base. So, para sa amin, yun yun. And, and uh, talagang dehadong-dehado. Ano ang pakinabang ng Pilipinas? Ang mm-hmm. sabi nila... Uh, modernization of the AFP. But nowhere in the EDCA itself, nowhere in the agreement does it state mm-hmm. na may ganyang commitment. No? Meron, kapag hindi na kailangan ng US yung kanilang equipment, pwedeng ibigay sa Pilipinas, pero may issue ng compensation. So, mabayaran mo rin. Okay. So, ang bottom line yan, mauulit yung nangyari nung nakaraan. Nandito sila, we get the second-hand equipment, yung mga used nila na hindi na pinapakinabangan, yun ang ibibigay sa Pilipinas. And then, ang sinasabi ng gobyerno, ang pakinabang daw ng Pilipinas dito is the deterrence mm-hmm. against China. Okay. Eh, yun siguro ang, ang uh, para sa akin, that is debatable because when President Obama was here, uh-huh. he could not even make a commitment. Tungkol dyan sa dispute with China, ano ang sabi niya? We are not here to contain China. Uh-huh. We have enormous uh-huh. trade, enormous economic relations with China and we do not want to, to disturb that relation. Pero, pero yun na yun, Teddy, eh. Like, for instance, let's say, uh, alam ko, magkaibigan na kayo ng Pilipinas, ikaw Pilipinas, kita ko, kaibigan mo na ngayon ng Amerikano, nagsasama-sama na kayo, hindi na kita basta-basta aawayin. O, oh, pero... <laughs> Di ba? Hindi mag- na kita basta-basta aawayin. Oh, pero oh. sino ba kaibigan ng China? O, oh, sino? O, oh, magkano ang utang ng US sa China? Okay. 1.28 trillion dollars. Trillion, oh, oh. Mas marami pang oh. reserve nila kaysa sa Amerika. Yes. Eh. Magkano oh. investments ng US sa China? Oh. More than 500 billion dollars okay. ang investments sa China. Dito sa Pilipinas, magkano lang ang trade natin? I think it's 18-19 oh. billion. So, so that's Sino why... Sino talaga kaibigan dito? Kaya oh. sabi nga ni Obama, nung tinanong siya ng media, hmm. Ipagtatanggol niyo ba ang Pilipinas sa China? Sabi niya, we are not here to contain China. Mm-hmm. We have enormous trade economic relations with China. Mm-hmm. Hindi namin yan ipagpapalit para lang sa Pilipinas. Okay. Although hindi naman niya sinabi directly ganyan. Uh-huh. But that is the implication. So, uh-huh. at the, the US has always maintained that it will not interfere in any maritime dispute okay. between the Philippines and China. Anong habol ng base ng US dito sa Pilipinas? Uh-huh. Yung strategic interest nila, yung strategic political military interest you mean nila, it like is, keeping the sea lanes open. Okay, you mean it is so one way na wala tayong ka-advantage as in 99% advantage America, 1% atin or 0 atin? Anong anong tingin mo? Anong well, siguro, if you can 
put it down into percentages. Ano ang ganong kalaki ang lamang ng Amerika sa binipisyo sa EDCA? Itong uh, Enhanced Defense uh, Cooperation Agreement. Well, military supply siguro yung mga second-hand materials. Okay. Yung mga cutters na yan, pinaglumaan. Okay. So that's probably part of the 1%. So, 1% uh, uh, do you agree? It's 99 to 1? Oo. 99% yeah, think, to 1? Well, mahirap naman i-quantify. Uh, pero napaka, uh, it's basically lopsided in favor of the U.S. Yung rest and recreation, siguro, mm -hmm. yung mga nightclub dyan, mm -hmm. yung mga karinderiya dyan, uh, tuwing merong <laughs> basis, may, may konting negosyo dyan. Uh, but, but even the war materials na i-preposition nila doon sa kanilang uh, mga bases, these are for the exclusive use of U.S. forces. Okay. You know, uh, these, can, these are totally, exclusively under the control of U.S. Mm. forces. Mm. Kasi base nga talaga. Yeah, yeah. It makes, to me, it makes sense. Na and and, ganun, and no? yung, yung problema talaga ng maraming nag-host ng military bases, foreign military bases, is one, uh, nagiging, ano eh, nagiging dahilan yan sa pakikialam ng ng uh, Estados Unidos sa internal affairs ng bansang yan. Mm. And of course, magiging jump off point tayo for their military operations in the region. Uh, at, uh, katulad nung nandito yung ano, sa Clark and Subic, yung gera nila sa Iraq, mm. eh dito nang galing yan. Gera nila sa Vietnam, yung gera nila sa Korea. So yun ang malaking pakinabang sa kanila. And uh, the only pakinabang na talagang hinahype ng gobyerno, yung China nga. But, okay. but, but again, I think, it, uh, alam mo, kapag, kapag ikaw ay binuli mm -hmm. no, at nagdala ka ng sarili mong kaibigang bully para okay. labanan yung nagbubuli okay, sa'yo. Okay. Hindi, para wag kang ibuli. Oo, oh, para ah. wag kang ibuli. Ah, ah. Ang problema kung magkaibigan yung dalawang bully. Ah, hindi naman. Hindi kawawa ka. Uh, I I don't, mean, uh, they, they can, uh. you know, pwede naman, hindi, pwede naman silang magkaayos. Eh. Pero, pero remember. So, ang, ang Pilipinas, mm -hmm. masasangkalan ngayon, Magagamit tayo ng uh, Estados Unidos for their own strategic military interest. Matagal na tayong ginagamit. Ayun na nga eh. Ever since. And, and it's uh -oh. going to get worse. And, uh, no, it, it can only get better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it can only, to me, it can only, diba, ginagamit na naman kayo. Halika, sama, sama, may, may basag ulo dito, sumama ka sa amin. Ngayon tingin ko naman, uh -oh. itong problema sa China, eh, we can approach it in a manner na hindi naman, hindi mo ibebenta, isi-sell out yung sovereignty mo eh. Okay. I mean, bringing the issue to the UNCLOS is a is a very good uh, move. Eh, ayaw, At matagal eh, na natin oh. pinupush yan. Eh, ayaw kilala ni ng uh, eh, UNCLOS. Siyempre, China. But, oh. you know, ang China very conscious din yan sa public opinion. Okay. Uh, itong engagement natin sa ASEAN, oh. engagement natin sa maraming mga international venues, you know, you, you can never underestimate the power of uh, diploma, diplomacy mm -hmm. and yung uh, political pressure yung pressure ng international community. Malaking bagay yan eh. Uh, pwede naman yan ang i-maximize natin eh. And not rely on uh, the global power to, to defend no, I, I, In my opinion, we've exhausted that. I mean, you've been in two congresses na nagkakaroon ng uh, conflict na with China. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Dalawang uh, six years. During your six years, the, your last six years out of your... By the way, si uh, Congressman uh, Teddy Casino, senior ano na po yan, <laughs> member ng Congress. Nine oh, yeah, years, nine you, can't years. Get, uh, <laughs> you can't get over nine years, di ba? Kaya he had to uh, leave for a while, go for the Senate, and uh, maybe we shall see him again either in co sa Senado or sa Congress sa uh, ito pong darating ng mga taon. Pero recently... Nakikita po natin siya na inaaresto ng mga pulis uh, during a demo. <laughs> parliament of the streets. Parliament, back to the <laughs> Parliament of the Streets. We have uh, Mr. Teddy Casino. We're talking about EDCA, the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. Is it constitutional or not? Is it a deterrent or magnet? We'll be back right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Open House with Jerry Cornejo, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. And by the way, uh, let me remind you, we air nationwide and in seven Asian countries via Global Destiny Cable TV, Sky Cable, GSAT Channel 1, and streaming on www.gnntv-asia.com. Okay? 
sa ano po sa GN sa Global Destiny we are on GNN Channel 8 sa Sky we are in 213 uh, GSAT Channel 1 okay so uh, wherever you are kahit ano pong uh, panic ng mundo kayo as long as mayroon po kayong internet you can watch and listen to this program and we're talking about the controversial EDCA the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement between the Philippine government and the United States government. And uh, with us uh, in this program is uh, former Bayan Muna Party List Representative Teddy Casino, who uh, very recently, together with... Uh, sino bang kasama mo rito? Nag-file kayo ng uh, petition sa mm. Supreme Court? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, former Senator Srenes Agisag uh, okay. and uh, Bobby Tanyada, uh, uh, our, our fellow uh, petitioners. Yes. Uh, yung anak ni former uh, Senator Salonga, mm -hmm. si Attorney Steve, Steve Salonga uh, is uh. there. Uh, si Sister Mary Jan Manansan. Yes. Uh, Roland Simbulan is uh, expert Is, on Isang ano lang yan o hiwalay kayo nag-file? Um, isang ano po yan, isang petition. Ah, okay. Po. One petition. Uh, okay. Uh, si na Dean Pacifico Agabin mm -hmm. of uh, College of Law of, uh, I think, Lyceum yata siya. Okay. Uh, attorney uh, Harry Roque, Attorney Edre Olalia, Evelyn Ursua, si uh, Carol Arroyo of, of Bayan mm -hmm. is there. So itong mga, you have former senators, you have academicians, you have from the religious groups, mm -hmm. uh, mga activists, uh, who all believe that uh, this is unconstitutional and that uh, it is a uh, sellout of our sovereignty. Well, and of course, uh, it, it, it makes the Philippines, specifically itong mga bases na itatay yung Estados Unidos, a magnet uh, for attack. Okay. Uh, ng mga kaaway ng Estados Unidos. So, hindi tayo atake ng China. Makaibigan yung dalawa. Makaibigan naman yung dalawa. <laughs> so, China, 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 China can always tell uh, the US. Uh, Iba ba? Yung ginagawa niya ngayon dyan sa may yes, Pratlis. Uh, they're, they're reclaiming lang. Uh, Sasabihin lang ng China sa US, O, Bok, huwag ka na makialam dito. Uh, eh, kami nang, this is a maritime dispute uh, uh, between the Philippines and the US. Eh, hayaan mo kaming ayusin to. Huwag ka, huwag ka na makialam. No? And, and I don't think the US will use their armed forces para bawiin yung islang yon. Ah, hindi no, naman. No, 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 sasabihin no. lang naman ng uh, US dyan, eh, daan nyo sa tamang proseso. Yun. I'm, I'm eh, kahit for wala that. namang base militar ang Estados Unidos, uh, yun din naman nasasabihin. Ay, ayaw ng China at eh. At yun ang i-advise ng US. Ayaw ng China eh. I mean, hindi sila na. naniniwala sa own clause. And besides... But, but if uh, there are... At yun nga, uh, kaya hindi lang US eh. If there are many countries, ay, yung ASEAN neighbors natin, uh, and, and all the other countries who are part of the own clause, will tell China, oh, wag naman ganyan. No? Idaan natin sa tamang proseso. Let's go through the, the, the process. Sabi na nga nila, Yun no, na magiging eh. effective. Hindi, hindi naman yung Hindi, pero sabi na nga gera, nila, no, eh. Eh. ayaw namin. Ayaw namin. Tayo lang, bilateral. Tayo mag-usap. Sa, hindi ka sa amin. At saka isa nga pala, hindi signatory ng own clause ng Amerika. <laughs> yung pa. <laughs> yung pa. Sabihin <laughs> ng China, sasabihin mo, uh, sumunod kami sa own clause. Kayo nga, hindi pumipirma dyan. Uh, hindi lang pumipirma, pero sumusunod uh, sila. Well, diba? Iba yung eh, signato. I mean, that, that's a technical thing. But by the way, UNCLOS, yung United Nations uh, Conference on the Law of the, the Sea, sea. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a treaty and uh, hindi po signatory ang Amerika dyan for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Siguro gives them the, the, the elbow room na kung magkagulo in the Pacific or anywhere, hindi ba, pinag-aaway, ano, pwede silang pumasok na Hindi ba? Hindi kami sig na to. Pag-usapan na lang natin. But anyway... Pero al uh, alam mo, at the end of the day, pag-uusapan talaga yan. Uh, Pero ang importante lang, uh, because of these diplomatic efforts, uh, we, we put pressure on China na huwag magpaka-hardline. Okay. Uh, at makita nila na yung kanilang 9 claim is really absurd. At, at hindi papasa yun sa kahit na anong international venue, international uh, uh, tribunal or, or anything. So... Ayun, malaking bagay yun. And, and I think, uh, uh, mas mahalagay pa yan kaysa sa papayagan mo magtayo ng base militar ang Estados Unidos. Hindi, pero Teddy, I mean, uh, ang, I don't know if they're just saber rattling ang, ang China. Pero uh, sinabi na nila, eh, hindi kami sasali dyan, magdemanda kayo, sue us. But you know, wala mangyayari dyan, tayo mag-uusap, pag-usapan natin to, pwede natin pag-usapan. Pero... Itong tanong eh, itong bottom line, this is what it is all in the back of our minds. This, I, this, this is the foundation of the whole thing. Palagay mo ba eh, may possibility na magkaroon talaga ng gera ang China at ang Pilipinas? Huwag na natin sa Amerika. With the current situation, with the conflict of the, in those areas, I mean, you were in Congress, I'm sure, 
you were privy to some security uh, uh, briefings. Mm -hmm. Ano ba sabi nila? Meron ba talagang possibility na magkagera talaga? O, wala tayong kalaban-laban, of course, pero may possibility ba? Well, uh, kung, there will always, anything is possible no? oh. sa ganyang sitwasyon. Yeah. But I think it is remote. Very remote. Um, I think wala sa interest ng China na makipagera sa kapitbahay ng Pilipinas. Wala rin sa interest ng Pilipinas na makipagera. It is in no, no one's interest. And alam mo naman ang China, eh, wala namang history yan eh, ng mm. pananako uh, dito, even in the region. Mm. No? Uh, unlike ang Estados Unidos pa nga, eh, <laughs> sinakop tayo ng Estados Unidos. Nga, no? Imperialist na China, hindi, uh. kaya nga ang tawag dyan for a long time, yung sleeping, sleeping giant. Uh, eh. uh. Uh, but itong recent in the past few years, talagang napakalakas ng kanilang uh, yung nationalist uh, sentiment. Mm. Ang paliwanag sa atin ng ilang mga China experts, may kinalaman yan sa domestic politics nila. Okay. You know, because of the conflicts within the Communist Party, eh, medyo may faction-faction dyan. At mm. nagpapasiklaban sila. No? Okay. And uh, they ha also have to keep yung loyalty ng pop, uh, Chinese Liberation Army, uh, People's Liberation Army. So may mga ganyang dynamics na yan. So, posibleng magbago rin eh. Uh, pag nagkaroon ng pagbabago ng liderato or any developments in the domestic front. So, para sa akin, hindi ako nangangamba na magkakaroon ng shooting war dyan. Okay. But definitely, China has always been saying na amin niya South China Sea. Uh, uh. Pero pwede gawin ng Pilipinas dyan. Yung katulad ng nangyari sa mga poachers. Ano? Mm -hmm. uh, pag nanghuli ng mga illegal na mga marine resources sa sa ating economic zone. Eh di hulihin natin. Okay. Hindi maghabol ang China. So, you know, we, we we there are many things we can still do. Okay. Na Ngayon, hindi nagre-rely sa Estados Unidos para para protektahan tayo. Okay. Before we leave this topic, gusto niyo ng uh, grupo niyo or there's a faction in Philippine society that wants to declare this unconstitutional itong EDCA, the enhanced a defense uh, cooperation agreement to declare it unconstitutional. Ano bang, uh, I mean, are you just doing this as an exercise or, or you really think you're going to succeed? Well, we, we think uh, there are very strong grounds okay. uh, para i-declare ito unconstitutional. Ang bottom line dito ay ayaw na natin bumalik doon sa sitwasyon na tayo ay dinidiktahan at pinapakialaman dahil may mga military bases and facilities ang Amerikano dito. Mm -hmm. Alam naman natin ang Amerikano, they are here for their own uh, economic, political interests. No? And uh, sentimental feelings aside, uh, talagang, ano lang yan, lamangan ng laro mm -hmm. no? at, at dito sa EDCA, nalamangan tayo ng sobra. Uh, ang gusto natin, ang Pilipinas ay makatayo sa sarili niyang paa mm -hmm. no, and not have to rely on another bully to fight uh, the bully in the schoolyard. Okay. Uh, question. Uh, so, this could be a question or a statement. So, ang tingin nyo that, that your group and the faction of society, kakausapin natin mamaya kasama si Paolo, itong ed ka na ito, eh, uh, bakit kaya ginawa ng ano ito? Bakit kaya ginawa ng ating gobyerno? Why did the uh, President Noynoy Aquino, his cabinet, of course, uh, andyan ang DND, bakit nila pinasukan yan? I mean, uh, ganun ba sila ka tanga? <laughs> <laughs> no, really. I mean, di ba? I mean, it boils down to stupid. How stupid are you? I mean, uh, 19, palagay na natin, 95% Panig sa Amerika, five lang ang atin. Ba't kayo pumayag ng ganyan? I mean, is it, is it a matter of stupidity? Or what is it? What is it behind this decision to have EDCA? Sa palagay mo? Tingin ko, ang, ang tingin nila na ang Estados Unidos ang tagapagtanggol ng Pilipinas. So, hindi, ano yung Katangahan ba yun? O yung wishful thinking? Yung or? colonial mentality that okay. we have always had. No? Okay. Na, sa, sa Estados Unidos tayo aasa. Mm -hmm. no? And... Uh, uh, if you want to modernize the armed forces, ipasok natin ang US. Mm -hmm. Kung gusto natin labanan ng China, ipasok natin ang US. Uh, yung, yung ganyang uh, mentalidad, no? Nang, uh, yung colonial, men yung, you mm -hmm. know, looking up to the, the colonizer. Malalim yan eh. Mm -hmm. no? And, and it, it's an easy way out. Kasi sa halip na 
pauunla rin yung ekonomiya mo para i-develop mo yung sarili mong armed forces and you know, you have an independent foreign policy, eh sumandal ka na lang dito sa sa bossing. Okay, sa question. Yung mga leftist groups, uh, of course... And, they, and, and probably uh, last lang, ano, uh, I think they, they take hook, line, and sinker. Mm. Yung ideology ng Amerikano, itong neoliberal ideology, mm. no, na yung, yung, uh, yung free markets, yung... Uh, Uh, yung, uh, yung electoral democracy for the sake of electoral democracy. Uh, yun, ang, yun, ang ano eh, yun ang agenda ng Estados Unidos dito. Eh. Yung opening up the markets. Uh, kind of, it's a kind of development na nakikinabang basically yung malalaking korporasyon, yeah. mm -hmm. yung mga elitista mm -hmm. sa, sa iba't ibang bansa. Yun, ano, I, I think, uh, pasok na pasok doon ang framework ng uh, development ng gobyerno ng Aquino. And that's why they they gravitate towards uh, the United States. No? And, and it's, it's okay, policy. on the other hand, traditionally, yung mga makakaliwang uh, grupo, and I, I'm not saying this in a negative way, ganun talaga, I mean, sa lahat ng gobyerno, may gitna, may kaliwa, may kanan. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, you have always been identified with the left. Mm -hmm. You're not a yeah. centrist. Okay, yung mga left naman, has always been anti-America, mm. anti-USA. Mm. In this sense, since uh, merong identity yung communist movement with the leftist movement, mm. are you more for China in mm. this uh, situation? Or I mean, of course, you're pro-Philippines, period. Lahat yeah. tayo pro-Pilipinas. Pero if you had the choice, sino mas okay nakakampi? I mean, usapang bagbero Pero, na mo, America or China. Alam mo, Jerry, yeah. Jerry ang China hindi na communist eh. Mm. It's a capitalist country. Nagiging. No? Hiding behind the Communist Party. Pero okay. ang Communist Party dyan, ang pinapangalagaan yan, yung mga malalaking kapitalista na rin eh. Sabi mm. ko nga eh, yung sino ba nagpapautang sa Estados Unidos? Uh, 1.28 trillion. It's, mm -hmm. it's China. No? So, uh, wala na sa amin yung uh, whether China is uh, socialist or not. It's, it's really a, a capitalist country. Pero ang usapin dito eh, kung titignan natin yung ating kasaysayan, Sino ba ang sumakop sa Pilipinas? Sino ba ang nagtaksil sa ating mga uh, revolutionary heroes? Mm -hmm. Sino ba ang uh, ginawang malakolonya ang ating bansa? It's, it's the United States. No? Uh, de definitely, they have caused China more China has, you know, oh. al alam mo naman, ang China, ang relasyon natin, panahon pa na nila lapo-lapo eh. Bago pa yung mga Kastila. Mm -hmm. eh, ka, ano na natin, yeah, yeah, trading yeah. partners yeah, na natin yeah. yung mga China. Kadugo Chinese. natin yan. And, and even oh. during the Arroyo administration, mm -hmm. eh, mas parang uh, mas nilaro ng gusto ni Ginang Arroyo yung Chinese card. Ano? Mm -hmm. So, nandyan lang naman yung mga Chinese, mga kapitbahay yan. But, yun na nga, I think it's, it's not a choice of, ang gusto ba natin in Chico Americano? Mm -hmm. Eh, kung saan ang interest natin, kung, sa, kung saan tayo makikinabang, doon tayo. So, as of At ang problema ng China, mas nakikinabang tayo sa Inchikyo. Dahil ang, ang China, no. sinasakop yung ating exclusive economic zone, mm. yung ating extended continental shelf. Definitely, we will oppose that and we will resist that. Pero sa ibang, ba sa ibang mga bagay, ah, economic relations, cultural relations, eh yan, eh, maunlad na naman ang inaabot ng ating relasyon. Okay. So, dapat medyo dynamic and very, ano, ang, ang treatment natin sa ating foreign. Ano. Alright. When we come back, we're gonna talk about Is it a magnet to conflict, to military conflict sa uh, po sa pinag-aaway natin as practically sa uh, group of islands? Or is it a deterrent to military conflict? Ito pong, uh, ito pong uh, EDCA, the Enhanced Development, uh, Enhanced Defense uh, Cooperation Agreement. When we come back, we are going to be discussing that. And uh, joining us will be Mr. Paolo Aguado, who says... It's a magnet. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Open House with Jerry Cornell, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. And now, we go into... Sumalin uh, rin kayo on your own, you know, with your... I'm sure even family members, you have different opinions, okay? And I uh, texted some friends, and uh, I'd like to mention their names. Tinanong ko kung magnet or deterrent, ha? Ang uh, pag-ugnay 
ng uh, United States and Philippine military in terms of EDCA, the Enhanced Defense uh, Cooperation Agreement. We're in, and dito na naman mga puwersa ng Amerikano, their Navy, their Air Force, they're going to be all over the Philippines. So, uh, you know, meron na question ang grupo ni na former uh, Bayan Muna Party List Representative, Teddy Casino, whether it's constitutional or not. Pero yon. Eh, ano na yon? let's leave it up to the Supreme Court. Pero ngayon, ang usapang bayan, usapang person to person, Pinoy to Pinoy is, ano ba ito, makakatulong or hindi? So far, so far, I mean, within this room itself, there are one, two, three, four, five people. Lahat sila magnet. <laughs> Ako lang po ang deterred. But okay, let me uh, read to you, uh, uh, Mr. Ramon Asinto says, it's a deterrent. No-brainer. We cannot defend ourselves in any situation. We will also get more investments. Pag-usapan natin yung mamaya. Mangyari kaya yan? Uh, okay. According to... Uh, uh, teka muna. Okay, Jojo Alihar. Si Jojo. Sabi niya, Both ways because easily we can be dragged further into the U.S.-China feud. But deterrent of a possible territorial invasion from China or other nations, for that matter, because they will think twice to move on a strong American ally. So deterrent yon, hindi magnet, di ba? And uh, from uh, Rod Cornejo, EDCA is American power, a reality in the planet. If it is China, we look at EDCA as a safety bumper. So sa kanya, deterrent. Okay? Another one who says deterrent is my neighbor who was just talking to earlier, Mr. Benji Magsino. Is the general manager of a uh, Philippine sports company. And he says, it is definitely a deterrent. Sabi ni Patrick Tulfo, deterrent. Okay? Ba, dumadami nga kakampi ko. <laughs> okay? But uh, hopefully, sana, we will never be able to prove uh, who's right or who's wrong. Sana walang mangyari. Kasi ma magiging totoo lang ito kung may mangyari, hindi ba? Well, well ang, 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 yeah. ang problema nga dyan is that it will really depend on the United States whether it will be a deterrent or a magnet. Kasi, no, China. Hindi. Oh. Kasi base nila yan eh. No? Kapag uh, sila ay, it can be a magnet, pag uminit halimbawa ang labanan ng China at ang Estados Unidos, mm -hmm. that will be a magnet. Pag, uh, pag uh, uh, maganda naman ang samahan ng China at Estados Unidos at magre-respetuhan sila, Eh, pwede sabihin ng Estados Unidos, so hindi kami makikialam sa gulo niyo ng Pilipinas. So it will not be a deterrent. So it, it, yun nga ang problema dyan eh. Hindi naman natin hawak eh kung mm -hmm. ano ang gagawin ng Estados Unidos dyan eh. They can either uh, interfere or they can either sit back and just, you know, bayaan mong, uh, like they are doing now, naka-hands of policy sila. Okay. So ano uh, yan eh, uh, it, 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 tama si Jojo tingin ko eh. It's uh -huh. either or. But... Alam mo, kung titignan mo kasi sino ba ang, ang Pilipinas, sino ba ang kaaway ng Pilipinas historically? Wala mm. naman tayong kaaway talagang bansa, eh. except Japan probably during the World War II. Ang maraming kaaway ang Estados Unidos eh. Uh -huh. At lahat ng kaaway ng Estados Unidos, hindi lang China, no? Uh, yung mas matinding mga kagerahan talaga nila sa Middle East, sa, sa Europe, eh, will always look at their facilities as potential targets. No? And in that sense, eh, these are automatic Magnets. magnets for yeah. military. I, I, agree with, okay. I agree with you. Uh, before we listen to uh, the opinion of, uh, I, I just like to say, si Magdalena Boy Palacol also uh, said that it is a magnet. Okay, si Magdalena Boy Palacol, former uh, bank executive and is now an entrepreneur. Okay, Jose Paulo Aguado. Let's call him Paulo. Paulo, why do you say it's a magnet? Good, af good afternoon. Thank you for having me here. And uh, good morning, good evening. Lahat ng time Good morning, good evening uh, <laughs> to everyone, uh -oh. wherever you are in the world. Okay. Well, actually, I agree with uh, former Representative Teddy Casino. Um, I, I personally also agree with Jojo Lehar. I think that uh, you know it could go either way. However, if you look at historical <clears throat> um, issues, if you think about it, we have the North Korea and then we have the South Korea. Now. That is an unsaid proxy war between China and the United States. So if you are basically looking at it as the Philippines is with the U.S. and then China is doing what they want in our backyard, 
you know, this could escalate. And honestly, for me, I look at it as a magnet. Magnet. Because China uh, uh, will never really fully accept the authority of the United States. Okay. They feel that they are, pero, they are whole on their own. Pero friends yung dalawa eh. Hindi ba? I mean, uh, their, their economic ties trumps our historical ties. I, I, I don't doubt you on that. <laughs> I don't doubt you. Ha? So historical ties namin sa ano, di ba ilang dekada na eh. Teka muna Meron bang trill, umabot ba ng trillion? <laughs> Baga, malalim ang laro. Malalim, di ba? Malalim. Actually, the best way to put no. it, the best way to put it is that they are frenemies. Frenemies, <laughs> ha? Yes. Pero hindi. I mean, to me, to me, uh, without the United States in the picture, no? Without the United States in the picture, uh, ano, ano nangyari so far? Hindi natin mabigyan ng pagkain yung these guys in the rotten, uh, rusty ship uh, sambayon sa Spratlys, hindi ba? O sa Ayungin Shoal ba yun? Yung mga Navy men natin doon, hindi natin madala ng pagkain because dumadating yung mga Navy, ano, hinaharang. So ang ginagawa, we even have to airdrop food there. Yeah. Okay. Ngayon, ano pang ginagawa? Winater canon yung ano natin, yung mga mangingisda natin. Gumagawa sila ng blockade. Of course nga. Wala nga nagpuputuhan so far. So far, thank God, it's only water cannons. Di ba? But then, nagpakita na sila ng might. I mean, they put a dozen huge ships there. So, Pero ang tanong nga eh, oh. yung mga ships ba ng China, bobombahin ba ng US yan? Okay. Ang US ba maghahatid ng pagkain sa Ayungin? Okay, we, we, don't, we don't know that yet. We don't, we, they will not do that. They okay. will not, sinabi na nila yan eh. Oh. We will not interfere in the dispute. Ano lang ang habol ng US dyan? Keep the sea lanes open. As long as okay. they do that, keep the sea lanes open, yun na yun. Wala, wala silang pakialam kung yeah. mag-bari na ng... If China bullies us, if China pag, says, pag, no, pag, you can't oh, yeah. go in. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, they will yeah. magsasalita yan. Yeah, they will but, say, hey, China, oh, oh, but at the end of the day, kayo, di ba? But at the oh. end of the day, eh, ano yan? Hindi, hindi nila awa yan eh. Mm. Hindi naman sila makikialam dyan. Uh, and, and yun ang sinasabi natin, doon sa ilang nagsasabi na with the US there, eh, magdadalawang isip ang China. So, hindi, hindi magdadalawang isip ang China, China? They have their oh. claim, eh. Sasabihin okay. nila, eh, yeah. kaya nandiyan ang US, kaya wala. Amin to, eh. So, ito gagawin namin. And the, the only way na mapipigilan dyan, uh, short of short of a shooting war, okay. eh, yung public, yung international pressure. Okay. And yun, hindi US yun. I, I think it is a whole group of countries na members of the UNCLOS who believe in the rule of, of law. Okay. Yun ang dapat natin i-harness. No? So, uh, i, i, medyo nag-iilusyon tayong masyado na sasabihin natin na sasaklulohan tayo ng Estados Unidos pag medyo nagkainitan dyan sa disputed area. Paolo, what do you say? What do you, how, anong, anong prediction mo? <coughs> Ngayon meron ng uh, EDCA. Now, uh, the U.S. Navy are gonna start bringing in their warships, uh, baka pumaparada-parada dyan yung paparaparada dyan yung mga aircraft carrier nila. Hindi ba? What, what do you predict? What's gonna happen? Status quo? Nothing? We're still going to have to airdrop food because saharangin tayo? I mean, what's gonna happen? Uh, will the Chinese uh, uh, intensify uh, their claim uh, by force? A ano mangyari, Paolo? <coughs> Excuse me. I see that happening. Mm -hmm. I see China flexing their muscles and... Uh, creating a more aggressive um, force mm. in the upcoming months. You should drink water first, <coughs> Paolo. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 yeah, yung, yung escalation oh. ang nakakatakot dyan, oh. yung, yung escalation. So, so you think there's going to be status quo or escalation? What do you think, Paolo? I personally think China will flex their muscles. Will escalate? Yung parang will escalate. aganon? Parang aganon? Yeah. Nagsama kayo ng Amerika? O oh, eto? Well, as Teddy had said, it's a, it's a claim. Oh. Oh. They have a valid claim. This has nothing to do with the U.S. and the Philippines. No, they do. You, you think they have a valid claim. So if you think they have a valid claim, umalis na lang tayo dyan. Huwag na lang tayo <coughs> ipapulo pa, hindi ba? Um, I don't know. The, is, that, is that your stand? They have a valid no. claim? In their minds. Ah, okay. In their minds. Ikaw, valid bang claim nila? No, no it, mo? actually, medyo absurd nga yung claim ng China. Absurd? It's an absurd. Uh, wala talagang naniniwala eh. Sila Except lang. them. <laughs> yeah. Wala ba silang... Sila ano bang, ano bang stand ng ano? Na, nag, uh, nag ano na ba ng... Sina Putin ba? Tsaka ito sina ano? Medyo, meron na ba silang comment about what's going on? 
Wala pa. Oh, wala pa. Eh, wala kasi pa. nga, eh... Pero well, they have their own thing in Ukraine. Kung baga, no? nagre-respetuhan yung mga yan eh. Okay. Uh, even the United States, wala namang sinasabi ang US tungkol sa maritime dispute eh. Uh -huh. Ang sinasabi lang nila, eh, wag, wag tayong aabot sa dahas. Okay. But they will not make a statement kung sino ang tama dyan. Kasi nga, dispute yan eh. No? So, and, and tama na dinala natin yung dispute doon sa ITLOS, ano? yung okay. International Tribunal on the Law of the Sea. Because yun ang pwedeng pag-usapan at yun ang medyo makakapag-decide. And China is a member of that. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, now do you think that uh, nagkaroon na ng mga backdoor talks sa mga Chinese and American military na what's happening? You're now with the Philippines? Nagkakagano na siguro, open naman ang communications ng uh, the Chinese and the U.S. military, no? Ha? Na nag-uusap yung dalawa. Ano bang, uh, hey, you know, are we going to read between the lines or... Because if they read between the lines, ibig sabihin nun na, oy, kumakampi ang... Di ba? Kasi ang dali naman sabihin, China, halika, friends na lang tayo. Gumawa na lang kayo ng base rito sa <laughs> Pilipinas. Huwag tayo kayo ng base militar dyan sa lupa namin. Spratly siya, amin yan. Pero pwede kayo magtayo ng, 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 ng half a military facilities dyan. Di ba? Although yeah. that may sound like selling the country or throwing it under the bus, I do believe that, uh -huh. that, that there could be some, some concessions made. Uh -huh. Because sometimes, Jerry, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Uh -huh. So if you ask me personally, I think that the Department of Foreign Affairs should step up their, you know, their actions. I think they should really go out there and try to find different channels because I do believe there's always a way to fix things. Oh, eh, pinapaayos na nga nila, sina Go Pumuy, sina Henry C, sina George T, yung mga Taipan, di ba? Yung sila nga nag-ayos ng Hong Kong, eh, di ba? O, yung contribute ko yun, bayaran nyo yung mga... Uh... Alam mo, Jerry, may kasabihan tayo, pera-pera lang naman yan, eh. True. You know, ano bang pinag-aawayan dyan? Uh, 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 Hindi uh, uh. naman, in fact, these are not islands. Okay. No, these are uh, reefs uh, and shoals. Fishing grounds. So, Uh -huh. Ano yan eh, ilalim ng tubig. Eh, wala ka naman may tatay yung base militar dyan or eh, facilities. Eh, Ginawa na ng Chinese. Yo, but you uh -huh. know, ang, ang habol talaga dyan are the resources. Uh -huh. You know, rich fishing grounds. Fish, fish. Balik, balik. Oil and uh -huh. gas reserves. Yan ang, yan ang medyo established dyan. Eh. Yan ang talagang pinaglalabanan dyan. And, Pero, and kung yan ang pag-uusapan, uh -huh. uh -huh. of course, it falls under the economic zone ng Pilipinas. Eh, pwede naman talagang may ano dyan eh, may system of uh, mutually beneficial joint uh, use uh, which respects the, the uh, sovereignty, sovereignty of, yeah. of both sovereignty. countries. Okay. Yan, yan, ang, yan ang medyo, kaya sabi ko sa'yo, ang, ang bottom line dyan eh, diplomacy eh. Uh -huh. Paano maabot yung formula na yan? Siyempre, sa simula, kirian yan. Okay. Di ba? Pormahan yan. But at the end, Paano ba natin tayo dalawang makikinabang dito? Okay. And, and, and yun yung... Uh, so it's going to be a win-win situation. There was situation. an attempt during mm. the Arroyo administration, yung tawag nilang Joint Marines, uh, JMSU, no? Joint Marine Seismic uh, Activity. Uh, joint ito ng China, Vietnam, and the Philippines. Mm. Ito nag-aaway ngayon eh. Mm. But there was actually a joint uh, memorandum of understanding, a joint project uh, ng oil exploration dyan. Kaya lang, ang problema dyan, kaya kinwestiyon namin sa Supreme Court, kasi uh, masyadong binigay ng Pilipinas eh, yung kahit na areas na hindi naman disputed, mm. which are clearly ours, part of the territory, uh, isinama doon sa area for joint use. Okay. Eh, Let's... siguro kung yung disputed areas lang, pwede pa, pero pati yung undisputed areas isinama. So, sabi namin, unconstitutional yan. Okay. Kung doon, lalo na sa mga undisputed areas na atin talaga, ang masusunod dyan, yung konstitusyon natin, hindi open for you. <coughs> okay, with that, tapos na ang ano natin. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much, Teddy Casino. Maraming thank salamat. You, thank, you. thank you very much uh, thank you for to having Paolo me. Aguado. For, thank you very uh, much. <laughs> alam mo, siyang uh, nagre-represent ng ating ano, uh, karamihan yata eh, palagay yata magnet eh, not deterrent. No? I mean, at least from my opinion. So, you represent the majority of the people who say it thank could you. be more of a magnet. Thank you. I'm Jerry Corneo. I think it's going to be a deterrent and I have the last say. And uh, we'll be back next week. And uh, pa, uh, I know we, we, we'll talk about this because uh, uh, we will be talking more about this uh, issue in the coming programs. Okay, meanwhile, until next week then, take care. I love you. God bless you. <laughs>